Rifle marksman is just what it was. It was all, we called it turkey shoot because uh, it was around Thanksgiving all the time. So a post can do more than just canoe? Oh yeah, but well back then we, we, we did bowling. We, we, yeah, we start off the year with bowling, then we go to basketball, then volleyball, softball, the canoe, canoe mare song, and uh, the church shoot. We, we had all those activities, and they were round robin. Back then, they didn't have the church leaves and all that. That's why exploring, they, they had hundreds, you know, involved. And, and, then, and then, then the church leaves took over, and the high schools mainly messed. Started taking over a lot of the sports? Yeah. Well, that they, 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 you would have to, like football, the coaches would require them all, all the, the summer weightlifting, all this, that, and the other. And they, they, would, they would also uh, uh, have the 707, uh, all, all kinds of what I consider breaking amateur rules. And, and then they, they did that with basketball, and with uh, so salt. that's So uh, they did that and that started getting in the way of doing the other stuff that, that you guys did? Yeah, right, yeah. But I've had the like Rube, Rube Breland, Brandon Crosby, like Bowling Green, they, they played uh, football for them. And they, they would uh, have to do their workouts in the morning and couldn't do it in the afternoon. That takes a lot of heart. Yeah, it does, yeah. It takes a lot of heart. This is a great program. Yeah. And you know, you, it makes you wonder what what took up so much of these posts I yeah. mean, because they, you said there was what 18 of them yeah yeah at one time yeah and now there's just one well one in the girls yeah well they, they have some in st tammany but they, they they really were never involved with us anyway they don't do the canoe race no. or any of that they they did a few of them but they don't so a post can do other things they can oh, oh yeah they don't have to do canoeing no no yeah they can We, canoe is just that big thing. How long has the Lions Club sponsored Post 313? Well, the Lions Club didn't really sponsor the Daily News our sponsor. But in the Lions Club, uh, Daily News doesn't contribute any funds. They, they did for a long time. They <clears throat> give us $500 for orange juice. But when they changed over editors, they cut that out. <clears throat> and we, we just raise our own money. We don't. We can go out and ask people for money. <clears throat> so, does, does the Lions sponsor? The, the, the Lions donates money for us to like to come to Arkansas, right? Or the Dragon Boat. Okay. Yeah. So, how does Post 313 raise most of its money? Splitting wood, firewood. Really? So that's yeah. where most of the money comes yeah. from. Yeah. Oh yeah. How much do you think you got to raise each year to do this? Uh, to do the whole thing from that, from February through this race. Yeah. About five, six thousand dollars. And you do all that, almost all that, through splitting firewood. Yeah, yeah, except for what the Lions Club gives. Us. Yeah. What do you do when it was a year like this last year when it was so warm? We, well, then, then we don't make five thousand dollars. We, we, we only made uh, twenty, uh, uh, thirty-five hundred, I believe. It so was. how do you close the gap? We don't. We well, my my pocketbook. <laughs> So do you? But so I, you I claim on income tax, so you know. So you pretty much close the gap. Yeah, yeah. I can only imagine how much you put into this. I, I never. It's worth it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing better, is there? No. I mean, how I, many? I, 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 I don't go to bars. I don't smoke. Yeah. How many times have you run across one of these kids as a grown-up years oh, oh, later lot, lot, and just been of, surprised? A lot of times. Uh, I got doctors, lawyers. Uh, That's what I was going to ask you next. What have they become? I mean, they all become real men, don't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, How many John, of them ever John, ended up in prison? Uh, <laughs> I've had a couple, of A couple of them fell yeah. off the edge? But, but they, only recently, because of drugs. You know, well, you know, and drugs will do that. Drugs yeah. will do that.
Well, when the but punishment like, for drugs will do that. Like Johnny Crane, the, the uh, clerk of court. He, 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 in Bogalusa? Yeah. He, he, he was, he was the, uh, one of them that was on the first national championship team, 79. So what's the highest one of you guys ever made it? I mean, uh, elected to uh, office? Plug it, plug it, plug it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Johnny Crane probably, Jimbo Stevens, he's a fair successor. And he used to be one of yeah, your panelists? Yeah, yeah. What about the military? You probably sent a bunch of them off into oh, the military. Oh, yeah, a lot, yeah. How many of them became officers? Uh, two or three, yeah. Any of them ever outrank you by the time it was over? Possibly they could. <laughs> see, see I, I got selected for, for bird colonel, but I'd come home and said that. Uh, I'd look to see if they had a poke machine around, but I don't see one. But, but uh, I came back and, well, see, see I was in right right till in World War II. Then I all all of uh, Korea and three tours of Vietnam. And, I, and I said I stayed in the Marine Corps till the Marine Corps got out of Vietnam. And so the same year that we we got out of Vietnam, that's when I retired. And, and started doing this. Yeah, and and then and see I see I was selected for, for bird colonel, but I'd had to reobligate myself for three additional years. But I'd already decided it's getting out, so I did that. Well, you had already set your heart on yeah, this yeah. post, so so you don't know if one of these kids might have someday became a colonel, and you got to call them colonel. They think could. Well, uh, I got got one right now. He, he's a major in the army. So really, yeah. So yeah. he's getting close. Yeah, he's getting close. And, and he was a good canoeer. In fact, he went to Northwestern. Uh, and was on their their rowing team. Northwestern in uh, um, yeah up in Natchitoches. Natchitoches. Yeah, yeah. That's where my oldest son's at. Yeah. And then Rube Greenland. See, he's on the rowing team at LSU now. And, and, and Kobe. We had one the first year that Matthew started that was leaving. He got a rowing team scholarship. That, that, that he wasn't paddling with us that year. He had come to visit your team. That first year, that two, three years ago. Yeah, but, but that, who that, is that? Yeah, he he's one a major now in the, is he? In the army. Yeah, he he got Northwest. He's he's on the rowing team at Northwestern. And in fact, as a freshman, the first year, he he was the, uh, the freshman of the year of rowing or whatever it is. Yeah. Well, it's because he practiced with post three thirteen. Oh yeah. Well, he learned how to. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, we, uh, you know, Matthew loves this thing. Do what? Matthew loves yeah, his yeah. canoe team. It's just, it's nothing for him. It's easy. It's yeah. what he likes. Yeah. He doesn't look at it as hard work. Yeah. I, you know, you wish you could see more of this stuff. Yeah. But you're right. The video games and yeah. both parents working and no one home to keep them motivated. Yeah. It's making a difference. It's changing the way kids think. I guess that paper's ready to go. Are we all done and measured up and ready? Yeah, let me. We'll stick around a little while longer.